Fellas, if you saw the last video we did, we did the 10 skin lines we think need to be f***ing cancelled. Not, that's not true, they, they don't need to be cancelled. Just need, they, they need to take a break for a while, you know? We've had so many, repetitive, every year, same skins all the time. There's been too many. However, in replace of that, you know, we need to have some new stuff. Giant enemy spider. And obviously it's difficult to come up with new concepts all the time, and sometimes they don't always work out. Like, I think Empyrean's kind of lame but you know there's also an alternative like what they did for high noon because you can bring old skin lines back from the dead try something new and revive it like you did for high noon like you did for fright night try something new so that's what we're here to do today we're gonna go over 10 skin lines that i think deserve a revitalization this one i think you're gonna get a lot of excuse me a lot of skin lines that you guys don't even remember exist but I am wearing the pumpkin hat, and we were talking, remember when I was saying that bewitching is like a bit repetitive, we've kind of done it too many times? You know what's one skin line that could do a kind of cool revival for Halloween? Give me a fun take on a revival of Z I think you could do something really cool, especially since there's so little of them. Because when's the last time these came out? 2017! It's been five years, I think you could try something new again after five years of it being on, on hiatus. You could even do like a Left 4 Dead team, although you'd have to have some zombies as well. A, a lot of problems that you have with skin lines uh, these days is that you have the heroes with no villains, right? Like remember Mecha Kingdoms came out and you had the big fighting Mecha Kingdom squad and no monsters to fight? Like, give me some monsters. Number nine, I guess I have to type in crab. The Money! Kaiju skin line is one, Money. and it's Crab God. Why this is even designated as its own skin line? I don't know, man. See, you could do Kaiju Nazis, but I think it'd be more interesting to take champions like Urgot, who are monster-ish, and make them into full-on monsters. Like, Cho'Gath is easy, that kind of stuff, but you could do, like, full-on, like, crazy, evil, um, stuff like Anavia, even. You could do, like, Rumble, even. Like, make the mech some creature thing. I don't have a lot to say about that one, because it's just, I want some monsters. Give me the, give the big mechas some monsters to fight. All right, next up, I feel like you guys, probably most of you, don't even remember that this happened, because it was so long ago. <laughs> I believe the last skin that came out for this was in 2017, but I think it could be expanded upon further, either with new characters or to really hammer home that it's Power Rangers. I think deserves a second shot. Actual Power Rangers. Give me like real Power Rangers characters, real Power Rangers villains and monsters. Give it a second try. It's been long enough that I think you can do a complete overhaul and give it a second shot. The idea that they did with them was that like each of them have their own mech, but you don't need to do that. You guys know how Zaya and Rakan, if they recall together, they do like a cool, um, you know, duo recall. If you had all five of the Power Rangers together recalling in the same spot, they'd form a big mech. That would be so cool. The mech could be Galio. Oh, that's, oh yeah, so we have the five Power Rangers and Galio is like what the Mechazord looks like. That would be very neat. Ooh, I like that idea. You need some villains, of course. You need the villain, you need the monster, you need all that kind of, just make a Power Rangers, like an actual Power Rangers skin line, you know? Number, I think we're on number seven? I l I'm losing track of time here. So I think we can all agree, robot skin lines, too many and too same and too oversaturated. There's too many robot skin lines. There is one, however, that I think deserves a second chance because I really like the concept and they can go really far with it. And there's barely any of them. I am talking about because these are like time-traveling fucking Terminators. Yeah, does anyone even remember that these came out? I feel like no one even remembers that these came out. Yeah, these are, yeah, these are like time-traveling Terminators, basically. And my favorite part about these is the voice lines. <laughs> so sick. But yeah, I, I, I love the idea of time-traveling Terminators. I think you could expand upon that a lot more. Especially since there's only two of them. Beyond that though, I think robot skins are kind of tired and we're, we're done. Speaking of robot skins though, there is one skin that we got of robots that I think was very, not robotic, but like sci-fi. But it was, you guys remember we got this here, we got more Steel Valkyrie. However, there is another side to steal Valkyrie of the skin line that is never, like, hasn't been expanded upon ever. And listen, I'm not even a fan of Warhammer, but the potential of- Holy Emperor! 
Dread Nova is right there. Like, go up full on Warhammer 40k inspired skin line. I think that would be cool. And there's only two. One of them's a mythic skin that most people can't even have. Technically, Renata's part of it. I consider her more on the side of Dread Nova than on uh, Steel Valkyrie. But I think it, like, it would be a cool concept to go deeper into the 40k inspired universe. We're on number five. And this one is very, very heavy personal bias. All right, I'm pointing it out there. So I do like Cassante. I'm a little, still a little disappointed he did not have anything Monster Hunter inspired because there's a skin line that's Monster Hunter inspired, which is give me like an actual Monster Hunter skin line. And you know who you do? You do Vayne, Cassante, Nila, Rengar. Done. There you go. Four man Monster Hunter party, and then give me a monster for them to fight. Because the thing is, all of these skins are 750. They're just changing how they look when you could do so much more with that. This one, I already talked about this one in the last one, but we're talking about bewitching and how bewitching has been so repetitive year after year. If that's true, we've had what, a five year break? Give me back some. They don't even have to be Christmas. They can just be winter. Just give me some holiday skids, man. Get, bring it back. Five years, I think that's a long... This was the last Mundo skin to come out, by the way. That was five years ago. What I want, my personal, complete and utter copium list. I want Christmas Tree Ivern, Reindeer Lilia, Santa Orn, Krampus Volibear. So you have the difference of Vol... You finally give Volibear and Orn a skin together. Santa Orn really forges you Christmas presents. Oh yeah, of course Candy Cane. Where's Candy Cane? Why is it not a thing? Ha! Boom, baby! All right, we're approaching near the end. And this one, admittedly, this one has not been around for very long, but I was very disappointed it didn't come back because in my opinion, this is one of the few skins. This is an example of a skin line you, where you release with a few, a very few number of skins, but they are all bangers and leave you wanting more because there's only a select number of them. And I got very disappointed with Lunar Beasts. One, because I just, I don't like Lunar Beasts. <laughs> but also because Shanghai Scroll is wonderful. Love this one. One of the few, see what I, like four skins, four? And every single one of them is a banger. They're all wonderful. Yeah, four with Jin. It's perfect. I remember we all thought that this was like, it was the Lunar New Year skins. Like, oh, cool. A very unique twist. Very like this, very good. Like it a lot. And then it was Lunar Beast. I was like, oh, okay. And then this year we got Porcelain and more Firecracker, which was just kind of, eh. Lunar Beast Alistair. Lunar Beast Alistair stole my design. Stole my design. Look at this. Unbelievable. It's the same image. They stole my drip. <laughs> so this is number two. I don't, what was the skin line called? It was called like, I remember. Someone said it in chat. Give me the corporate skin line. I want, I've said this many a time, but give me a skin line of champions in the corporate environment, but they're champions who'd have absolutely no right being in a corporate environment. Put Urgot in there, put Rek'Sai in there, put like just, Random ass champions that have abs like no like human excluded Completely human excluded just champions that have no right being in a corporate environment at all That's why corporate mundo's funny monster champs just like yeah exactly they're monsters just like real corporate executives When they eventually get around to doing the VGU for Cho'Gath make Cho'Gath the rival CEO to corporate mundo perfect And now the final one and there were many good choices that I could have done here but there is one that I think got done that it's, I, I put it at number one. I, I said these were out of order. There wasn't any order, but there is one that I think was done so unbelievably dirty that it, it hurt to see it. And I think it deserves a second chance because the aesthetics are very fun. I am talking about This skin line got done so dirty, so dirty. It was put out and forgotten immediately. Yeah, and Darius was on the post and they didn't do it. Not only is the problem that there's only two, the problem is that they chose Garen and Lucian. Now, that's not a problem in the sense that they aren't good fits to the skin line. The problem is, is that these skins came out right after we had just gotten God King Darius. <laughs> 
Or God King Garen, sorry. And High Noon Lucian. They had just gotten legendary skins, and then you put these out very shortly after. It really sucks. Like, it, they didn't, did not give the skin line a chance. Which is a shame, because these are really funny. Like, these are a really fun idea. They just, they did it, and then left it to die. They haven't done anything with it since then. I don't think any skin line was done as dirty as Demacia Vice, where it was just left to die. But there we go. That's it, fellas. That's all I got for that.